This video is brought to you by Miniature Market. Thousands of board games, discounted prices, miniaturemarket.com. The Mind is a cooperative game for two to four players where you're trying to get through a certain amount of levels depending on how many players are there and you'll have a certain amount of lives in order to get that done. Each player is given one card for whichever level they're on, so in level one everyone gets one card and you're trying to play these in ascending order. But the trick is, you can't talk. You're only using body language by how tense and how close you want to be to the table and how fast you want to play the card and you're trying to figure it out with each other. But watch out, because if you play a card out of order, you'll lose one of your precious lives, and if you lose all the lives, you've lost the game. As you go up to the different levels, you'll get more cards. For instance, level 2, everyone will have 2 cards. You also can use a star, which means you can raise your hand, and if everyone does it, you can get rid of your lowest card face up. And some levels even get you a life back if you complete it. And you're trying to finish a certain amount of levels depending on the amount of players and if you finish that you can go into extreme mode where all the cards are played face down and for every error you've made after you flip them up you would lose a life it's extreme hello my friends it's the game boy geek here the mind is great because you can teach it in literally one minute. It's an experience like no other. It's one of those games that feels like a classic, like it could have been around for 50 years. Why didn't I think of that? It feels like that. But the experience of trying to figure out what people are thinking, what they have, and trying to work together is just an amazing thing that's hard to explain. You just have to play it. It's unbelievable. Uh, I like how your teams get better and you're synergized even better with multiple plays. You'll be playing it, you'll be terrible at first, but you get better and better and better and that's a good feeling. I've never played this game less than three times in a row. We always play it multiple times. It's portable. You can play it quickly in a restaurant. It takes five or ten minutes. I've even played it in line waiting for doors to open for a show. Uh, and it's fun to watch as if it's as if you're the one playing it. Even other people like that. The player counts scale very well. Two to four players, they all work great. The negative is the blackboarded cards. They can sort of mark easily and you want to sleeve them, but the sleeve cards don't really fit in a box that great. Uh, but overall, I love this game. The last thing is the theme is kind of wonky. I would have liked to have seen this rethemed to something more in real life life like tire changers in NASCAR or doctors in a trauma or something where you actually do work cohesively together but overall this game is amazing I'd be surprised if it doesn't get nominated for Spiel des Jahres and it got a saxophone serenade this video was sponsored by Miniature Markets Review Corner. The Review Corner features podcasts, video, and written game reviews by gamers for gamers. Miniature Market, the online gaming superstore. Thousands of board games, discounted prices. Check them out at miniaturemarket.com. <laughs>